Okay, so question seven, a little bit of algebra here. We're asked part A to simplify 5x plus 4y plus x minus 7y. So we're just collecting our like terms together. Uh, we collect the x's together, and then we will collect y's together. So let's have a look. 5x plus 1x gives me a total of 6x, and then 4y take away 7y is minus 3y. Remember that that minus sign is acting on the 7. It has nothing to do with the x. So plus 4 take away 7 is minus 3. So 4y take away 7y is 3y. Okay, next part. B, we're asked to solve 7 times x plus 2 equal to 7. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the brackets. Now, we could divide by 7 straight off the bat, but I'm going to expand. Um, so that gives me 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times 2 is 14, and that's equal to 7. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take 14 away from both sides. So taking 14 away from both sides, um, that gives me 7x equals, well, 7 take away 14 is minus 7. And then finally, we could divide both sides by 7. So, 7x divided by 7 is simply x, and minus 7 divided by 7 is minus 1. So the answer is x equals minus 1. Now, I'm just going to show you here very quickly uh, how we could do it a second way slightly more efficient. Now, I could divide both sides by 7 straight off the bat and we get x plus 2 equals 1. So that was dividing both sides by 7 to start. And then we could say taking taking 2 from both sides, taking 2 from both sides, we get x equals minus 1. And you'll see both answers uh, are the same. Uh, and always remember, uh, when you're doing an equation to check your answer. So let's check by substitution. I'm going to sub in this minus 1. If that was my, if x was minus 1, we'd have minus 1 plus 2 is 1, and then 1 times 7 is 7. So I can check and make sure that it's right. Always do that. Guarantee yourself the marks. If it doesn't work out, you can look back at it again and try and correct it.